But by the way, I want to make it clear, I'm going to raise some taxes. If any of you are billionaires out there, you're going to stop paying at 3 percent. <laughs> Not a joke. The idea that a billionaire, we used to have 600 or so in the United States of America, now there's 1,000. The idea that they pay at a rate that is lower than the rate of a police officer, a school teacher, a nurse, is bizarre. You're going to see that people making less than $400,000 a year, as I said from the very beginning, will not pay an additional single penny in any tax. If I can hold a second, one of the reasons I was able to keep the debt down this time around, they're the Fortune 500 companies. They're good companies. I, by the way, I come from the corporate capital of the world, <laughs> Delaware. More corporations are incorporated in the state of Delaware than every other state in America combined. I got elected 36 years worth of that. So I'm not anti-corporation, but I think everybody should pay or take a fair shot, pay a fair share. Now, look, here's the deal. The reason why I was able to lower the deficit and still expand programs like health care was there were 55 corporations in 2020 when I came to office who made $40 billion and didn't pay a single penny in tax, not one penny. Well, guess what? I did a terrible thing. I got passed overwhelmingly with just my team's vote. I got passed a 15% tax. My God, 15%. Raise your hand if you'd accept a 15% tax. <laughs> no, I'm not joking. Well, I raised enough money to allow me to do the things I've been able to do. 15% minimum tax. Like I said, 40 billion in profit. That's just 55 corporations. We're paying zero. As for my, 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 my mega Republican friends, they say they want to reduce the deficit. We did the math. Based on what we know so far, they could change their minds. Their plans would explode the deficit, increasing it more than $3 trillion over the next 10 years. Because they want to do, they want to cut taxes for the very wealthy, again. They want to cut taxes for large corporations. They want to take back the power we just gave Medicare and Medicaid to negotiate, which would raise prices. And they would have a huge giveaway to big pharma and cost taxpayers billions of dollars. And if they say they want to cut the deficit, but their plans actually would explode the deficit, how are they going to make the numbers add up? What are they going to cut? That's the big question. For millions of Americans, health care hangs in the balance. Will they continue to fight to cut the Affordable Care Act and make health insurance more expensive for millions of Americans? <clears throat> Republicans have been trying to undo the Affordable Care Act since it passed 13 years ago. They voted to change or repeal the act. It's a fact, it's on the record, more than 50 times in four years that it existed. 50 times. And they made repealing it part of a virtually every Republican budget since the law was passed, from the Trump administration budgets to congressional budgets to their budget plans for just this past year. 